Days after two men were shot in Brookfield, still no word on who shot them. Thanks for joining us. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Christina Gesford in for Cat. 27-year-old Juan Sierra was killed and 29-year-old Miguel Fuentes was wounded. Police say the two men are friends from Springfield, Massachusetts, who had traveled to Vermont together. Both men have a record of drug trafficking, including a 2019 arrest for bringing fentanyl into Vermont. Haley Morgan is covering this story for us today in the central Vermont community of Brookfield. But state police investigators remain tight-lipped tonight about what led to the shooting and who pulled the trigger. State police say the shooting happened at this house off Route 14 in Brookfield late Friday afternoon. The body of 27-year-old Juan Sierra was later found outside the house. Police say his friend, Miguel Fuentes, was able to drive away from the scene but stopped down the road near the intersection of Route 65, where another car passing by came to his aid and called authorities. Investigators were at the house all day on Saturday documenting the crime scene and looking for evidence. They are calling Sierra's death a case of homicide. But police have not released any information about who may have shot Sierra and Fuentes, and police have not made themselves available to answer questions at this time. And Brookfield residents like Kevin Dunwoody are surprised something like this happened in this town. Obviously, you know, the shooting happened. And, and yeah, it's, it's unnerving that it's so prevalent anymore. You know, even here in Vermont, where we feel relatively safe, there's still this situation where people lose their temper and it's right for a gun anymore. In a press release, they said only that detectives believe that this is an isolated incident and there is no general threat to the community. People I talked to in Brookfield on Monday say they are not overly concerned for their safety. They just want answers. Uh, the question I would have is, uh, do we do we know if anybody's still around in the, in the area? Because, you know, obviously you want to protect yourselves. Although the pair have a record for drug trafficking, the Vermont's State police are not telling us if they think this incident is drug related, but they do say they do not want to release any additional information because they don't want to jeopardize their investigation. In Brookfield, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.